Greetings, one and all. Factorio Demystified continuing with advanced oil processing taking center stage for this episode. And if you reach this research being almost finished and you're not in the refinery area, run back, do not walk, run. As soon as it comes in, we are going to switch over to the more advanced, more efficient process immediately in all of our refineries. So with that in place, we can then look at our research path forward, which of course is going to be focused in on reducing pollution as usual. So we're going to grab mining productivity, the second tier, up from a 10% boost to a 20% boost, make better use of our raw materials, and reduce the effort and pollution from our mining operations. That will take quite a while to get in place, and it's a good passive one that we can just be working on while we are setting up other infrastructure. Then our advanced material processing will be next to get the electric furnaces. Be a while till we use them, but it will be nice to have those in place. Meanwhile, the advanced oil processing deserves more attention, requires it in fact, because we have then the three products coming out here as we've noted before, but we're not using light and heavy oil. They will fill up these pipes and when that happens, it clogs up the system and the refineries will stop. We need room for all the outputs. We could just put up storage tanks, but that just kicks the can down the road. It doesn't really solve the problem. What we want to do is convert these by the cracking process into petroleum gas, which is the only one of them that we currently actually want to use. And that is why all of this space is here. We're now going to begin to use it. So we'll get some lines in here from the petroleum gas to start. And the exact precise ratio here is 20 refineries to 17 chemical plants, cracking light oil into petroleum gas. A further five chemical plants cracking heavy oil into light oil. And that way you're going to exactly match the output of the refineries. Now I'm actually not going to go for exactly matching it. I want slightly more capacity than that for my cracking operation. So I'm actually going to have one of these chemical plants working on light oil for every refinery instead of 0.85 of them. And I'm going to have one heavy oil for every three refineries instead of one for every four. So if we take a look at our recipe here then, light oil and water turns into petroleum gas. Notice less petroleum gas than light oil, but you're still getting more out of it. And then heavy oil into light oil also requires water, also a two second time. So we'll select this three in each row, and then we'll switch these to the heavy oil. And now we just need to hook up our pipes as before. So this petroleum is going to be our input, or rather output, going out that way. And then we get to light oil, so we'll stretch that out this way. Water will just come in like so and it will move its way down the line. It will be needed for each one. And of course, we'll duplicate all this up here. But then we will have the light oil coming out to this second level. The heavy oil coming out to the third level and move along with our undergrounds as we have seen previously. Here is our complete and fully operational cracking setup both rows of chemical plants identical. We have water coming in from the north as an input, also light oil and heavy oil. And then to the south, light oil comes out and the petroleum gas. And the gas is completely full here. So we are supplying more than what we actually need. And then we have the light oil will just cycle around to be cracked into more petroleum gas. All of that relieving the pressure on our refineries down here. So much more capacity than demand and that's an excellent place for us to be. The petroleum gas eventually making its way out to the main shoulder and up for use in plastic and sulfur. The oil situation then is handled. We have extended our belt coming down the bus with the red advanced circuits. So let's take a little journey down to our supply depot and see exactly what is going on there. We have a few things that we've set up. Not a lot yet, but a few. 
And before, when we set this whole area in place, we noticed that we were going to have the red advanced circuits combine with the green electronic circuits. That is now actually happening. But we're not using them in this area just yet. We are set up, though. We don't want to really turn on and build a whole bunch of explosives just yet, but when we do, and we have enough power, notice we're producing 23 or so. 25, again, is our capacity with the overnight steam engines, so that's why that's not all on yet, but we'll be able to get rockets for our rocket launcher. They just need explosives added here. Cliff explosives just need explosives plus grenade and one good use for the barrel, and those are all in place here. But I am actually building flamethrower ammunition, just crude oil into a chemical plant, which sort of looks out of place here, but it actually fits just fine. And steel, along with the crude, these take a while to produce, so why not? It's one machine. Just edit it on. And then the crude oil coming in from our primary shoulder. Then we move down here. And in this area, right here is where we're going to build the electric furnaces when those are invented. And we'll have the red advanced circuits there. So we can see that they're just going to sort of filter down here and be used in a few different items. But primarily for now, down here. This is where we have our stack inserters now finally being produced, so we can use those if we wish. And further down here is where we'll build our modules, which we're going to get into in the next episode. Going forward then, we want to improve our power solutions for the factory. And modules are going to help us in terms of how our various machines operate. We'll get into that. We're also going to want to build accumulators which will store energy overnight, and therefore our solar can power everything, not just the daytime, and we can stop relying on steam power at all. And both of those are now available for us to do now that we have our advanced oil processing in place. And then beginning next time, we'll go into modules. Accumulators will be the episode after that. Till then, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you're enjoying Factorio Demystified. And as always, Feel free to throw any feedback or questions down in the comments below and I will respond as appropriate. See you next time.